Happy Friday. So glad you're with us. We haven't kicked off the 2023 legislative session yet. We're still in the year 2022, but no worries. We still have our first public legislative disagreement for essentially the 2023 session. The newly elected speaker of the Idaho House of Representatives, Republican Representative Mike Moyle, he finished the House committee assignments this past week, and most notably, he made the decision to remove a Democratic seat from the Joint Finance and Appropriations Committee. That's called JFAC. Now, Speaker Moyle awarded nine of the 10 total JFAC seats to Republicans. He's allowed to do so. The minority party, well, they previously held two seats instead of just one. Idaho Democrats are speaking out, saying that the move is unfair, and Democrats hold 11 of the 70 total seats in the Idaho House. And so if you do the math, that works out to 15.7% representation in the House. And with only 10 House seats on JFAC, Speaker Moyle can't achieve perfect proportional representation. The numbers just don't work. Now, Speaker Moyle had basically two options. He can either round up to two seats, which would then be 20% representation on JFAC for the Dems, or he could round down to one seat, as he did, which is only 10% representation, less than that 15% number that the Dems have overall in the House. Now, the Speaker chose the latter, as we learned, but House Minority Leader Alana Rubel explained her concerns with the decision to us this week. We are deeply committed to the vital services that people need, whether it be, you know, home visiting for the elderly, um, whether it be the foster care system, whether it be care for those with disabilities. Uh, we fight to make sure those budgets are adequate um, in a way that very often our Republican colleagues do not. And so the people who count on those services, I think, will suffer as a result. So we heard from the Idaho Democrats. What do Idaho Republicans think? Well, Great. Our Doug Petcash actually spoke with Speaker Moyle and Senate Pro Tem Republican Chuck Winder over in the Senate on this week's Viewpoint program. And Moyle explains his rationale and thought process behind the decision. Meanwhile, Pro Tem Winder also tells us that he believes this move is not out of the ordinary. For over 20 years that I can think of, the Democrats have been overrepresented on that committee. And with the new folks, I felt like it was a time to give some other people an opportunity. The minority party is still overrepresented as a whole on all the committees in the House. And I thought if, we were gonna, if they were going to be overrepresented, I thought it was time that maybe some other people had a chance to serve there. Just a way to break things up and give other people an opportunity, especially with the new guys. Because if you look at our appropriation committee, they're all new, but what, two? One had been there before. So, so it, there's a learning curve again, and it's yeah. an opportunity for everybody to be involved. And, and we actually did that a few years ago when there were only six uh, Democratic senators. We actually reduced the, uh, the participation on some committees, and it's basically based on the ratio. So to learn more about that conversation, you can join us this Sunday morning at 9 a.m. for Viewpoint with Doug Petcash. And Doug is diving in-depth with the new Speaker of the House, Mr. Moyle, and Pro Tem Winder. They're talking the big topics heading into the new legislative session that kicks off in January. Again, you can catch Viewpoint Sunday morning right here on KTVB.